So you finally have your song just right. The mix is perfect. You're ready to get it out of Ableton Live and take it to perform on stage. What do you do? Hey, this is Will Doggett, Ableton Live certified trainer, founder of From Studio to Stage. Today I wanna to show you how you can render stems from your live project to get them ready to import back into Ableton Live to perform on stage. So let's get started. Welcome to From Studio to Stage, where every Friday we post a brand new tutorial showing you how to use Ableton Live on stage. Today's tutorial is brought to you by Oyen Digital. If you use your computer to make music, you need a high performance, rock solid hard drive, and that's exactly what Oyen Digital does. Their DuraLine hard drives are excellent solutions for live performance. The Mini Pro Dura RAID is a portable RAID drive with capacities up to 10 terabytes, all powered through one cable. With speeds up to 800 megabytes a second, SSD and HDD versions available, and configurable RAID options, the Mini Pro Dura RAID is the perfect solution if you're looking for a high capacity, reliable, and rugged drive for live performance. To get 20% off any Dura hard drive, head to oyendigital.com and use the code Dura20. That's O-Y-E-N digital.com and use the code Dura20. Thanks to Oyen Digital for your support of From Studio to Stage. So this is a very, very simple process to do in Ableton Live. Just a few quick settings and we'll make this happen. So this is a song that I have that I've been working on for a while. I think it's finally ready. And what I need to do is export stems out so that I can use that in an Ableton Live set. Now I wanna use stems or audio files and stems are basically each part separated out so that I have more control as I perform and mix, but also so that I'm only dealing with audio and not processing MIDI live on stage. So this is very easy to do, like I said, in Ableton Live. First, what I'm gonna do is do Command-Shift-R, and this is gonna open the render wi window. And what I wanna do, I have the option here to, uh, for render track to either do master, all individual tracks or selected tracks only. Now if I do all individual tracks, that's gonna export every single one of those tracks as a stem, but it's also gonna include a mix down of the master, uh, my, uh, a mix down of the returns, as well as, in this case, the sidechain track, which I don't need that uh, chosen. So what I wanna do is actually go and do selected tracks only. This is a very cool setting now that's in live. I'm gonna hit cancel for a second, and I wanna select just the tracks that I wanna render. So in this case, we're gonna do sweeps and I'm going to hold shift down to leads and again command shift R go back to there selected tracks only a couple settings here uh, the sample rate for this guy is 44 one again in most scenarios this is great uh, I ventured to to uh, to say that no one's going to be able to hear a difference if you're playing with stems live on stage with a band in an auditorium in a stadium on a stage um, no one's going to be able to hear the difference between 44 one 48 so I just always leave it at 44 one when I'm exporting uh, my bit depth is at 16 uh, file type you could choose Wave or AIFF uh, or FLAC. I like to just leave it on whatever it is, Wave or AIFF. And then Dither, if I'm changing from um, a higher sample rate to a lower sample rate, I might wanna adjust that and change that. I always just leave it the way it is and I've never had issues. Next, I'll hit export and then that's gonna render all those tracks out separately. And again, I'm gonna save them in a new folder and I'll call this Dream Stems and hit Create. Hit save and it's gonna render all those stems out. So once I have those stems rendered out, I can drop them back into an Ableton Live set to perform with. Now, what if though, when you're producing your track, you're using sends and returns? Maybe you have a reverb that you wanna be included on four different vocal parts. When you export stems this way, Live is not going to export uh, with the return track included. So here's a trick or a workaround for that. So what I wanna do is make sure on this track or whatever that part is, that I solo that track out. And when I solo it out, I can go back into Command Shift R this time, and I wanna choose Master. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna solo that track, it's gonna play through the sins and returns, uh, and then it's gonna mix down to the Master. Now this is gonna take a little longer, hopefully you didn't do this with every track, but you wanna go through each of those individual tracks that you have that on and make sure that that renders out. So again, I would set render track to Master and hit Export, and that's gonna run through, and I can add that back into the stems folder that I had originally. So to learn more about using Ableton Live live on stage, make sure to head it from studiotostage.com where you can start a free seven day trial that'll give you access to every single course in the catalog, access to the private Facebook group, and then also get you a monthly call with all the subscribers where I help answer any Ableton questions that the community has, as well as show uh, just what I've learned and what I'm working on with Ableton Live currently. So thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Hope to see you next week. Take care, bye everybody. Thank you.